Well, hello, this is our devotional for October 13, and we're continuing to walk through the book of James. I hope that God is speaking to your heart like he's speaking to my heart. Uh, today, we're going to just look at, at two verses, James 1, 19 and 20, and listen to these words. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. And yet our anger can kind of flow and we can say, well, my, my anger, it's, it's, it's righteous anger. Maybe occasionally, but, but probably not. I want to just think about a couple uh, things from this passage. And, and, and my main theme is simply this, to watch your mouth. Uh, that we would just learn to watch our mouth and watch the things that we say. You know, when this passage says we should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, it, it, it talks both about our ears and our mouth. And I've heard people say it's kind of one of those cute little colloquialisms, but, you know, there's a reason God gave us two ears and one mouth, that we should listen twice as much as we should talk. Uh, if it was up to me, God should have given me about eight ears and one mouth because <laughs> I, I probably talk way more than I should, and I, I need to learn to listen more, and maybe that's true for you as well. So here's a couple thoughts for us as we just kind of walk into the rest of this week and seek to walk with Jesus in a way that honors Him. First, just being quick to listen. And particularly what I've learned is being good at asking questions of people and then actually listening to their answers. Don't ask a question and then wait for your turn to answer your own question because really what you want to do is hear yourself talk. But ask questions and just sit back and listen and create space. You get to know people and learn how fascinating they can be if you really take time to ask good questions and to listen. And then be slow to speak. Maybe a good thing is to simply pause every time before we speak. You say, well, that'll slow down the conversation. Then I can't get all my words out. Yeah, but there's something about pausing and saying, you know, should I say this? Should I say this right now? Should I say this the way I'm going to say it? One of my dad's recurring lines with me as a kid growing up is he'd say, Kevin, it's not that what you said was wrong. You just said it so badly. And that sounds like it's a harsh thing to say to a kid, but I needed to hear it because I could say the right thing, but I would say it with an edge to it that wasn't necessary. And then the pastor says, be slow to be angry. And there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of anger kind of floating around in our world right now. And we've got to slow down, not just, not just what we feel internally, but be slow to express your anger. Because, my, man, right now in our world, people are tense. People are wound up. And we've got to learn to slow it down and kind of bring, you know, bring, bring the temperature down and, and just say, I want to, even if I feel frustration, how do I still extend grace? And then the final thought in this passage that's very interesting is that human anger does not produce kind of godliness, righteousness. We think sometimes our anger will make things right. I think that's very, very rarely the case. Something may make us angry, but the way we handle it, and if we handle it in anger, almost never becomes redemptive. We can handle something we're angry about in a gracious way, and that can be redemptive. So here's the encouragement. Be slow to speak. I say quick to pray, quick to listen, slow to speak. And then when it is time to speak, speak in a way that brings blessing and encouragement, that speaks the truth, and that brings God's righteousness alive in your life. Lord Jesus, we pray that we would recognize that you've given us two ears to hear with. Help us listen well. When we do speak, Lord, let our words be filled with grace and kindness. Let our words be led by you. We pray that we would be people who are quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to become angry for the glory of Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you Sunday either online or on campus at Shoreline Church. If you're not part of Shoreline, God bless you. Enjoy church wherever you gather with God's people.